What is going on fellow game developers? My name is Muddy Wolf and today we're going to be adding health to our 2D top-down shooter game. Uh, in the last video we added an enemy who will chase us around um, and once this .NET project builds you'll, you'll see the alchemy. So there you go, you've got a little enemy we can shoot him but the bullets just bounce off him and like he's known. They can hold him back but they can't kill him and he can't kill us which is an issue. We need to fix that. So let's get straight into it so the first thing we need to do is let's go onto our enemy into our enemy sorry uh scene and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new we're gonna add a new uh child node here and we're just gonna get a node 2d create and rename this to health i'm just gonna bring this towards the top of this just for organization sake and on this we are going to attach a script called health.cs we will put this in our scripts folder uh, and just click open uh, and then we'll create this and this should open up in visual studio perfect let's remove everything in here for now and we want to get a few variables so first let's export a um public float called max health um which we will set equal to 100 by default we don't want to float just called health which we uh can set later on we're going to get our ready function inside of c sharp and in here we are just going to set our health equal to our max health this just sets it so when we start the game uh, our health will always be full we then want to create a public uh void called damage which we are going to get we're going to pass through a float called damage into our um and in here we just want to say health is minus equal to the damage we are taking we then want to check if our health is less than or equal to zero and if so we are going to get the parent node and q3 so this means our um so if we're getting the parent that means the health should always be a child of the uh top level component it cannot be deeper because obviously it will get the parent off that and this is all we need to actually get our health started now back in here this should all be good if we go to inspector and we actually need to build our project so just hit build to build the .NET project in the top right and you can see we now have our health script and we can adjust our enemy's health now i'm just going to set the enemy's health to something like 50 so it's about half which is perfect we can then also go to our player node and do the exact same thing add a uh, node 2d bring it up here just call it health um, and then grab our health script and attach it to uh, this and we can give our player 100 health because, you know, he's OP. He's a strong guy. Um, and there we go. We now have health, but we still need to be able to damage the player. So that's where our bullet script comes in. So back in Godot, what we want to do is click on our bullet here, go to node, and you'll see the on body entered function here, which we're going to need to use. Now you need to make sure contact monitor is on. This will actually uh, tell this that something has entered. If this is not on, this will not be triggered. You also need to make sure your max contacts reported is larger than one or larger than zero. Um, otherwise, it will not report anything. If you expect to be the bullet to hit more than one thing at a time, then you'll want to up this but most of the time you probably are going to hit one thing with this so just leave this as one um, and then in our node we can actually go to this and we can connect this and let's call uh, on body entered and connect it to our bullet here now this is going to connect it but it's actually not going to set anything up so we need to actually create the public void on body entered function which will then have a node 2d called body that it um, attaches to so this should now be connected to the on body entered function which is here just make sure these names are the same and make sure you're passing through a body which could be anything this could be a node 2d this could be a rigid body this could be whatever it is i suggest going for the lower one which is the node and in here we just want to say if our body dot is in group and we're going to check if it is and we're going to pass an enemy here because the bullet will hit be hitting the enemy and if it is in the boot in if this is the enemy we're then going to get the body and we're going to get node and we're going to search for health and we're going to pass in damage 
And then up here, we're actually going to create an export um, public um, float called damage. And we're going to set this to 10 by default. And then we're going to pass in damage in here. Also, guys, um, you need to pass in a uh, this here before the actual call because this will tell it that we're getting a node with the class of health. And obviously, make sure this it matches the class name here of health. And then we'll be able to actually apply the damage. And then when this collides with anything, so not just an enemy, we're going to call Q3 to actually destroy the bullet on any sort of collision because once the bullet hits tank it's going to be destroyed let's go back to our scene here and let's see if this works you can see it gets destroyed and it, we should hit him five times and he get destroyed but it does not look like that's happening it looks like there is an error but you can see the bullets are getting destroyed so let's figure out what the issue is and i believe i already know what the issue is our enemy is not in the group of enemy so let's just add that group onto our enemy there. Hit save and let's rebuild. And let's see if we hit this guy five times, he gets destroyed. Yes, that's exactly what we want. Now, in a previous video, we added the attack range to our enemy here. Um, and this is going to be used so once it gets close enough to our player, he can deal damage. So let's actually go back to our enemy here. And let's actually add in the attack. So we originally set up this attack player, which is here, which is called once the enemy comes within range of the player. And all we need to do is we can go back to the body or the bullet here. We can grab this exact script, put in here, but instead of body, it's going to be the player. And we're going to get his health node and just apply a damage. Now we've set, already set our damage up here. Now, just for testing, I'm going to set his damage to 25 because it will take four hits to actually kill our player there. So let's um, let's go back here. Let's go to enemy. Make sure all this is good. So you can see damage is set to 10 there. Let's just put it to 25 just to make sure. Let's hit build and this should. Yep, that's fine there. And let's just go to our player quickly and double check our health is all good. Let's hit play and see if the enemy can actually destroy us. So we get hit play it in range and there you go but after five hits we are destroyed all right guys so that's going to be it for this video that is the how you create a health system for your game um and we can reuse this health system for any of our enemies any of our players anything we want to really you can even have walls with a health so you can have a wall uh, that you have to shoot to break it that's a you know there's a bunch of different things you can do here to obviously use this health system um and it'll work on pretty much anything so that's that's that and and in the next video we are going to actually set up a spawner for our enemy so our enemies can come in waves and we can fight off a horde of enemies rather than just the singular enemy that spawns in our game where we have pre-spawned so let me know what you think about this video in the comments guys uh, i will see you in the next one peace out